Hey guys, what's going on? I had to bend up a whole new ride support. Just with the turbo being in the center of the car now, I had to move my radiator over to the driver's side. Just with that, yeah, I had to change everything. So I'll show you what I came up with here. I was originally going to make a triangle off of the frame to uh, mount the turbo and then just kind of build some legs off to uh, mount the rad. But uh, with that, I still have to mount my bumper and everything off the front of the car as well. So I ended up coming up with this design here. Uh, I just bent it so the tube goes in underneath the rod. That way the rod sits down there. I'll build a mount so the rod can sit on it. And then I'll have to modify my upper support there just to uh, mount the top half of the rod onto it. Uh, I would have liked it to be symmetrical, but with the rod being off to one side, I can't. So this is what I came up with. Now I'm just working on mounting up the turbo. This is pretty much dead center in the car. I just pretty much went off the center of the grill, center of the compressor wheel. The turbo is going to be uh, mounted slightly downwards, but at least it's in the area that I want. I ended up spending some more money and I bought these uh, the Maven Performance oil drain mounts. I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they accept one inch, one eighth, and inch and a quarter tubing. It just mounts to the two bolts for your drain, uh, and that's how the turbo sits and rests. So then now I just need to build tubes off to the mounts and uh, clock the turbo on the right angle that I want and then that will be permanently mounted. So yeah, I'll go from there, I just bent up some tubing, I'm going to cut the 90s off and then just shape them to fit inside the frame. So yeah, there's a quick close up to the mount. Uh, like I said, just bolt right up to your drain tube on your turbo and then you mount off of that. Like I said, it goes from one inch up to an uh, inch and a quarter. So I used one inch so it has an o-ring on it. And it's already uh, tapped for, I believe, a dash 10 or whatever you want to go to. So, Next step, I'll bolt that up to the turbo and then I'll get it mounted onto the frame there. So I got the turbo, it's all fully welded onto the rad support now. I even went around in the rad support, it's all fully welded. I made gussets and everything underneath as well. Just to try to help with it because uh, it does have a lot of weight out here now with that big heavy turbo and the rads. Just uh, extra strength, make it last a little bit longer. Uh, this is the rad where it's going to be. I just made a quick little pedestal for it to sit on and then I'll put bolts through the bottom of it. And then I'll have to uh, build mounts off at the top as well. But uh, at least it is where it's going to be and I can start building the merge pipe down to the turbo. Kind of behind schedule. I was hoping to have the merge pipe to the turbo already built uh, by the new year. But obviously that didn't happen so I'm up early on the weekend. Trying to knock this out. Hopefully by the end of this video, uh, you'll see it done. And hopefully I can start moving on to other things like the wastegates. Finishing up my downpipe and everything. And from there, it's uh, building a tube from the turbo into the cab, air to water, and then back out to the intake. Still tons and tons to do, but let's keep working at it. So as I previously showed in, I think, the last episode for this turbo setup build, <laughs> uh, I'm planning on doing both pipes down like that. So I'm just trying to make it fit all in between with the rad, uh, the little rad hose. It's pretty tight underneath there, so it's just one more thing to uh, clear as well. That's the plan in anyways, so 245s down either side, and then making the freaking crazy uh, turns down at the turbo. So I'm going to start building those turns from the turbo, and then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there.
right, so I got that one tube uh, built to the merge pipe down to the turbo. I actually got uh, the two tubes coming out of the turbo already uh, bent and welded on as well. I'll show you that here. So yeah, this is what I got going on underneath here. Uh, I still need to just kind of fully weld it up here. Uh, I just left it tacked on just in case I had to uh, clock it a little bit different. But yeah, that's the disaster going on in underneath there. The reason behind doing that is I just wanted the locations to be in the same general area. It won't be 100% perfect, but uh, at least as long as my tubes kind of look the same way, uh, I'll be happy. I still need to cut this tube just a little bit shorter so that just so the flex joints are in the same area. And then, uh, yeah, I'll start moving on to the next one here. So, so from that short little time lapse there, you can see me I'm messing around with the 45. Uh, I ended up going with the 90 and just cutting it shorter. Nothing ever works out as your plan. Just got to be prepared for that. Um, I just pretty much eyeball everything. I hold the tubes up to where I want them, uh, mark them, cut them, give yourself a little extra room just in case you need to massage it a little bit after. But that's pretty much how it turned out. So still clearance everywhere. It's not too tight. I got my flex tube down there. So hopefully that'll save all my welds and everything. So yeah, I just need to build the next side. Uh, just with the snap of my fingers, it'll be built just like that. So yeah, just like that, it's all there. It's, uh, I'll still have to weld it all, but at least they look pretty uh, pretty close to being symmetrical. It's a little bit different, like I said, just because the couplers are in different locations, but you get the point. So now uh, next, I'll just have to weld everything up, get that completely done, and then it's moving on to uh, mounting up my wastegates. I think it'll go something like that, and then down out of the fender. But uh, I'll have to talk with Ronnie, and hopefully he can uh, machine up some V-bands for me. Uh, just because I'm going to two inch and I think this outlet for this uh, tile wastegate is an inch and a half. So hopefully you can uh, machine one up for me. Fingers crossed. Speaking of Ronnie, he's the one that owns a 68 Camaro on this channel. Uh, he does videos and helps me out as well on it. Thought I'd just take some time and show you guys this. See if you guys know or read uh, RPM Magazine. Guess who's on the front cover? <laughs> Ronnie made it on the front cover of the magazine, which is freaking awesome. Uh, huge congrats to him. So if you guys want to learn more about the car and just kind of the story behind it, definitely pick up the magazine and read about it. I know most of the story behind the car. Even me reading the magazine, I enjoyed it. So big, uh, big congrats to him. Freaking awesome. I think uh, every car guy wants to have their car in a magazine. And on top of that, being in the front cover, it's just insane. So yeah, if you want to learn more about the car, uh, definitely go pick up a magazine. If not, you can even go on their website and read the full uh, magazine on there as well for free. And uh, yeah, so I think that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Like I said, I got the tubes made. Uh, they're not fully welded, but hopefully by the next video there will be. And then from here, it's a matter of, like I said, finish welding everything. Get my wastegates all mounted, all the tubes. Get my downpipe fully welded. There's more cutting and welding. So, so anyways, guys, like always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate all of you. I'll catch you next week. See you guys.